Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How did Ron DeSantis win the 2018 gubernatorial election in Florida? To understand how Ron DeSantis won the 2018 gubernatorial election in Florida, we need to break down the key events and factors that led to his victory. Republican primary, DeSantis first had to secure the Republican nomination. He won the August 28, 2018 Republican primary by a significant margin, receiving 56.5% of the vote. His closest competitor, Adam Putnam, the state agriculture commissioner, received 36.5% of the vote. Endorsements and support. DeSantis had strong endorsements, including one from President Donald Trump, which significantly boosted his campaign. Other notable endorsers included Sean Hannity and Repazur Matt Gates. Campaign strategy. DeSantis focused on conservative values and his military service, highlighting his time as a JAG prosecutor in the U.S. Navy. He also emphasized his opposition to sanctuary cities and criticized Putnam's immigration stance, which resonated with many Republican voters. General election. After winning the primary, DeSantis faced Democratic nominee Andrew Gillum in the general election. The campaign was highly competitive, with both candidates engaging in intense debates and using different strategies to mobilize their bases. DeSantis benefited from higher Republican turnout, which was a crucial factor in his victory, close margin and recount. The general election was extremely close, with DeSantis winning by a margin of just 0.4%. This narrow victory triggered a machine recount, which DeSantis ultimately won after it was completed on November 15, 2018. Gillum conceded on November 17, 2018. Voter turnout. Higher Republican turnout played a significant role in DeSantis's win. Despite Gillum leading in some polls and energizing Black, Hispanic, and young voters, the Republican base turned out in greater numbers, securing the victory for DeSantis. Final results. In the final tally, DeSantis received 4,076,186 votes, 49.6% of the total, while Gillum received 4,143,723 votes, 49.2% of the total. This marked the sixth consecutive election in which Florida elected a Republican governor. And To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.